Hey guys, Bob McBride, Black Powder TV. Today we're going to do a quick video in our new shooter series, and this is a uh, subscriber requested video. Got a subscriber that's got his brand new flintlock, first flintlock he's ever had. It's too cold where he lives. He's not going to be the range for a couple of weeks. He's looking at the pan on his on his flintlock lock, and he doesn't know quite what to do with that pan. Do you heap it up like a bowl of ice cream? Do you put a few particles in the bottom? What do you do? So I think this is a great subject for a little short video. So let's get to it. So first of all, you can prime your pan uh, several different ways. You can prime it from your, your main horn. You can prime it from a specifically made priming horn. So something like this small horn, so if you're shooting a big bore and you're shooting one and a half or one F or even two F and you wanna use something uh, finer in your pan, then you're gonna figure this out as you go along and decide whether having separate priming powders for you. If you do, uh, you won't be using your, your main horn, you'll be using either a small specifically made priming horn or you'll use a priming flask, something like this. And this has a, uh, a plunger under spring pressure, and when you push it, it um, releases powder. So you're gonna tick, 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 you know, pop, pop, pop in your pan, and each, each press is gonna drop a grain or so. So you may need two presses, you may need three presses, press, press, flip your frizz and closed, and you're ready to shoot. So how much powder? That's the, that's the big question, how much powder? So I drew up this little diagram real quick, and this shows your bolster here, shows your pan as this little bowl here, and it shows your flash hole. That flash hole should set on top. Imagine your, this, your pan is a bowl and the bowl has a lid on it. Your flash hole should set right on that lid, on the top of the lid, not in the pan itself. So you're gonna have, if you buy a contemporary gun, you may find this flash hole a little forward in the pan, a little back in the pan, that's all fine. You know, it's hard to get it perfectly sometimes. But if it's down in the bowl, then you've got something you need to be aware of. It's not really a problem, but you need to be aware of where that flash hole is in relation to this pan. So if it's up above here, sitting on the top like it should be, no matter how full you fill your pan, that flash hole is going to be clear of the powder, and that's the main thing, being clear of the powder. You don't want a fuse effect. If this, if, if this uh, flash hole is down in the pan and you fill it up, you're gonna get a fuse effect. Your flint is gonna strike the frizzen, drop sparks in the, in the uh, powder. The pow that, that flash is gonna promulgate through the powder, running through your hole and ignite the main charge. That's slower than if this pan is half full, like it should be, and it flashes, and that flash, which is gonna travel faster than the fuse effect, goes into your main charge, and then you're talking nearly instantaneous discharge of your firearm. So if, you're, if your hole is up here, put as much powder as you want in there. Over half full is a waste. About half full, about three grains is fine. It's usually maybe three plungers with a powder flask but about half full, you know, is fine. If, you're, if your flash hole is down in the pan, you've gotta be a little more careful, and that's where this part of the video comes into play. So, let's grab the squirrel gun, and you fired, you've loaded, and now you're going to prime the pan. So, we're gonna put it on half cock, you're gonna hold it like this. If you take this plunger and hit your three plunges, more than likely it's gonna be the correct amount, or two plunges, whatever it is, half full. But if you use a powder flask and you bite the tip off, uh, bite the, uh, the, the plunger off, and you go in your pan, it's really easy to overfill that. So a lot of people will put their finger over the edge when the, when the plunger's out and release, 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 and just kind of sprinkle powder in the pan till they have enough. You're gonna have to play with your technique on that. I usually just pour it in and try to catch it. If your flash hole is up where it should be, 
a little too much powder in the pan. If you fill that pan up, it's not a big deal. Just, um, just roll. Now, if you do fill that, pow that pan up and your flash hole is down in the bowl, not sitting on top of it, but down in the bowl somewhere, and you fill that up, you know that you're gonna have a slow fire more than likely. It's a hang fire. It means your, your pan flashes and there's a perceptible delay before your firearm discharges. And you don't want that because if you're aiming up in the trees at a squirrel or aiming at a really small target, that delay is time for you to flinch, time for you to your brain to go what, and, and for you to be pulled off, off of your bullseye. So if, if your flash hole is down in the, in the bowl of the pan, you pull your frizzing back, you know that it's down in there and you know you put too much powder, the thing to do is just before you come up to fire, you're gonna tilt your firearm outwards like this away from the flash hole. And some people will even give it a tap. You're moving that powder away from the flash hole and then you're gonna come up and fire, right? So if, you, if your flash hole is down in the pan and you fill it up too much, which you're likely to do maybe every third time, even every other time until you get better at it, just tilt it out and shake it push that powder up against the outside. When that frizzin opens up, your powder is gonna be bunched up away from the flash hole, and that is gonna give you the speed that you need in your, in your discharge. So you, you should be able to stay away from a hang fire, a delayed fire, doing that. So I hope this video was useful for you. Please come back, like, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Thanks a lot, bye guys. Yeah.